a grain as big as a hen's egg. One day, some children found a thing shaped like a grain of corn with a groove down the middle, but as large as a hen's egg. A traveller bought it from the children and sold it to the king as a curiosity. The king asked his wise men to find out what the thing was. They could not solve the mystery till one day, when the thing was lying on a window sill, a hen pegged at it till she had made a hole, and then everyone saw that it was a grain. The king ordered them to find out when and where such corn had grown. The learned men searched in their books but could not find any answer. They suggested that the king ask some peasants who could have heard from their fathers when and where grain grew to such a size. So the king gave orders and his servants brought before him a very old peasant. He was ashy pale and toothless and managed to totter into the king's presence with the help of two crutches. He could hardly see or hear and said that he had never sowed or reaped or bought such corn. However, his father might know where such corn grew. The old man's father was then brought before the king. He walked with one crutch, was still able to see and could hear better than his son. He too had never sowed or reaped such a grain in his field. As to buying, he had never bought any, for in his time money had not been in use. Everyone had grown his own corn and when there had been any need, they had shared with one another. But he had heard his father say that in his time, the corn had been larger and had yielded more flour. The king's men then brought before him this old man's father. He entered, walking easily and without crutches. His eyes were clear, his hearing good, and he spoke distinctly. The old grandfather held the grain in his hand and said that it was a long time since he had seen such fine grain. He had grown up on such corn in his young days. In his days, land had been free and labor was the only thing men called their own. They had what was their own and did not covet what others produced. They followed the laws of God and this made them live a long, healthy life. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.